Well, we made it here, man, at the famous field and stream. Just gonna run in there real quick. Gotta get some, and uh, it's just a uh, very. We just pulled up here to the field and stream, and I just wanted to get something real quick. Just something right out of the counter. I brought you guys in there before. Now, the Silverado is actually newer in year, but this truck is actually newer to me. I've been driving the Silverado for a longer amount of time. But, of course, since this, this is the newest one to me, I decided to put the key on this one. But, I mean, I keep the, the keys to myself. I mean, it's just, uh, this is my truck. I don't, I don't know what you guys are trying to fabricate here in the, in the theories. But, yeah, man, like, that's just the truth about it all and all that kind of stuff. So, I really dig deep into what I do and all that kind of stuff later on. There's not just one thing. Let me just run in real quick, and then I'll just uh, tell you a little bit more information. All right, catch you in a sec. So we were back in the Cummins, just started her up, and honestly, I just, uh, well, I just got my 2018 fishing license for trout, and honestly, I usually get it a lot sooner than I did this this year. I usually get it, honestly, one of the first days of January, so it's actually pretty late, so I'm a little late this year, but I'm always going to get it every year. I always go out, so... My friends like the fish as well, so it's always cool to have people to go with as well. And I, I know a lot of good areas, so that's why I got that. And I got my fishing stuff back there, as you saw earlier in the video. So, yeah, let me just drive some more real quick, and then I'll piece together some more information for you. Some truthful information, because I want to be as truthful as possible in these videos. I know a lot of you guys say I clickbait and all this kind of stuff. I mean, I'm trying to ease off of doing that. I'm trying to keep the titles as sincere as possible. Obviously, it probably doesn't help that my titles are usually in one, all caps. And then for two, I usually put an extreme amount of exclamation marks and probably just amp it up more and you guys consider it clickbait. So I'm going to just try to keep it more sincere, I guess, if that's what you guys want. You say that's the better way to do it, then I'm going to do that. I'm listening to you guys that I've read all your comments. I did take a while to read them all i read every single one of you guys' comments and i respond to every single one of you guys' comments so it does take a while because a lot of them come in but i will eventually get to them so don't worry about that when you guys do comment i will read it and i will get it to it eventually it just does take me a while and i'm sorry it took me a little bit longer this time so let me get situated here to a closer location and where i'm not on the road so i can actually focus but let's go I live my bio. Mixed opinions about the exhaust brake, bro. We turned around for this. Here's what's up with 1057 the X. Friday, join me, Nipsey, from four to six. Well, would you look at that truck? Just gonna read this through real quick, but anyways, I'm gonna let the truck cool down. So I'm gonna try to not do any cuts for this for this uh, episode, I guess you could say, for this video or whatever, but anyways uh so the q a is why did daddy buy my cummins first of all these both my trucks and i'm going to do a full video on the whole what i do for a living when when realistically it's just multiple sources of income and that's always the best way to do it of course i don't just have one solid way to make money i'm not going to say oh yeah i had a lemonade stand and i invested in the stock market and now i have millions but that's not the case first of all these trucks are pretty affordable and I bought them both used with a good amount of miles on. So yeah, we're around 150 on that. So that cuts a lot of price off of the truck and everything. So you got to think about that. And I had to cut there because I made a mistake about the number. I didn't want to say something that was that wasn't the truth. I, I had to think about it for a second. But yeah, we're approaching now on higher numbers, and that's why I'm trying to thinking about you know maybe going with something newer and maybe possibly training both or one. I'm not really sure yet. But anyways, that's not what I was talking about here. So anyways, yeah, make a video on that. But as of right now, I'll tell you the truth about everything else. Well, fo, so I uh, grew up around here in, the, in this whole Harrisburg area here and went to school here and all that stuff, elementary school, all the way up through high school. 
and I'm currently still in school, I go to college right now, and I go to school for business, because business has always been something I enjoyed since, well, the beginning, since I was young, probably about 12, 13 is when I started doing business activities, I guess you could say, with things I am interested in, such as electronics being the number one thing. But yeah, trucks have always been a thing I enjoyed for a long time. I've always liked technology and powerful technology and a nice way to to get that powerful technology is in a pickup truck because I also like the capabilities of a pickup truck as well, being able to off road and all that kind of stuff. It's really cool and stuff of that nature. So I'm also going to not try to cut anything from here on out, so it's going to be kind of hard. But I've always liked the outdoors as well, my truck has always gotten me to very cool places to fish and all that kind of stuff. There we go, finally shut her off, but yeah, I've always liked the outdoors and, well, the truck culture and all that kind of stuff and modifying trucks and that's, that's always been me. And the thing that's been holding back, well, me from modifying this truck is because, well, I'm thinking about, well, moving forward with the trucks. Of course, the other truck was damaged, so I had to move forward with that. But I'm thinking about going farther with that truck until I make my full decision because, well, that is my first truck, the Silverado, and I've had that since the early days, man. I'd say senior year, right around when I was 18 or whatever, when you were able to finally consider an adult to be able to do adult things, adult business decisions and move money and stuff of that nature. But, yeah, so... Now, I'll be honest, of course, now, when you're that young, you're obviously going to have to co-sign because you're not qualified when you don't have that good of uh, a credit score. But if you can work things out with having enough money and giving a significant down payment, then I don't see who wouldn't co-sign with you. I see a lot of you guys are just getting pissed off because I haven't been that honest about the stuff. It's always been a big drive out stuff. I do like to check out other people's trucks and stuff of that nature. But of course, it's whenever I go some places. I don't, I don't drive around hunting for trucks to look at or anything like that. I always just, if I have somewhere to go, I go there, and if I see a cool truck, I check it out. I mean, there is some cool trucks around here. Don't get me wrong, but I've never seen anything too just SEMA truck worthy because this is the north, and trucks get destroyed pretty often. I went down to Tennessee to get this truck. You can check out those videos. I went by myself to do it. And that's because, well, these trucks up here in the north get destroyed and get chewed out. I mean, after one year, it's pretty much destroyed. I wouldn't say that. I won't go that far. But I'm saying they they do get pretty rusty. So that's why I just don't want to have to deal with it. And I'll probably travel again if I have to go get another truck used, that is. So I've also been considering the new factor as well. But I don't need warranty. The, L5, the L5P Duramax can't be tuned, so I can't go that route. And the warranty isn't a big thing because if I tune, remove the exhaust, do some some things of that nature, then I'm not gonna have to, I'm not gonna really need that warranty. And I did make some configurations online, so eventually I am going to go somewhere to, well, see what we can get, negotiate, and see a good price out of all three brands. Of course, I'm trying to opt towards something that I'm familiar with. I'm trying to go towards Chevy, Chevy, but it seems as if the configurations just aren't the way I want it. I don't know, so it's it's a hard decision, and the Fords, I mean, I love the outside, but the engine, it's just, it would be so difficult to actually work with, so it's it's a hard decision on that factor, and I do try to film every day, I try to do do that, not every video is an installation, but I do tell you guys when it is coming, and I'm, I'm honest when it comes to co reviewing comments and actually answering, and I'm give you guys an answer of what is actually coming to the truck. It may not be just yet, but it is going to be coming. And I do love straight pipe exhausts. I do love lifted trucks and bigger tires. And as you can see, the Silverado has been an ongoing build. And I wish I was able to film from start to finish. But unfortunately, I didn't start filming until after I did a good amount of stuff to so that, that truck. So I guess I'm going to keep continuing the build here. And we'll see what happens, man. But I'm, I'm thinking about if there's anything else you guys were saying... I do try to film every single day, like I said. I know it's not the most exciting content, but I keep want to keep you guys updated on what's going on with these trucks and just the drivability and the day-to-day -day aspect of it. So I know some of you guys get pissed off about that, but I just like to do that, and I'll try to keep the clickbait down. I'll try to change my titles, I guess, the thumbnail or whatever, but I basically just take a picture of me with the truck, and I might try to 
I might exaggerate a little bit on the title of myth, but I won't go too far off as I used to, so I'm going to try to switch that out and make things a little bit better. But like I said, I will make that video on the whole income scenario. Some people try to keep that a secret, and it's not everybody likes to share that information because that is kind of private, I guess you could say. But I guess getting into the detail of what it actually is, I guess that's not that big of a deal. So I guess I could get into that. I've just been busy lately. And I haven't been able to read the comments as much, but I, I know a lot of you guys get pissed off about a lot of stuff. And I hope I touched on some things a little bit more now, and I'll review more comments. And if there's more stuff that c comes up, I will answer that. And I also want to do some sort of Q&A, some sort of Q&A, so that way I could answer just right on, right on live feed of what's going on. Basically, maybe you comment it, and then I'll answer an hour later. So that's probably how that'll work out. So I hope this answers some more questions, but uh, yeah. There was a cut right there, but I, I didn't know, really know what else to say, but I'm going to try to be as honest as possible from here on out. So I guess, yeah, I guess hit that subscribe button um, just to keep yourselves updated with more content that I'm going to put out with these trucks. And of course, uh, I'd always want to keep looking at new real estate to move out on to, and I'd bring you guys along. So I want to keep you guys updated on everything. <laughs>